How do we find the treasure on this map? Shiver me timbers. I don't know. I don't see any X marks the spot. So how do we know where it is? How can we read this map? We need some help. Yar, yar. Hi, I'm Hillary. I'm Mark. And I'm Seamus. Today we are going to learn how to plot points on a coordinate system called a Cartesian, Cartesian coordinate, coordinate plane. Let's take a look at a map of the world. When we add a grid, and we add axes, then it becomes a system that we can use to show location, also known as a coordinate system. Coordinate systems are useful because they help us determine and communicate specific positions or locations. This is the Cartesian coordinate plane. It has two axes. The horizontal axis is known as the x-axis. The vertical axis is known as the y-axis. And the point where the x and y axes intersect is known as the origin. Starting from the origin, numbers are written along the axes at regular intervals. Each number corresponds to a line on the grid. On this coordinate plane, we're going to increase by intervals of 1. A coordinate plane has four quadrants. Today, we are only going to focus on the first quadrant, the upper right quadrant. Now we understand the coordinate plane, so let's learn how to plot a point on it. The location of a point on a coordinate plane is described by an ordered pair. What is an ordered pair? An ordered pair is a set of two numbers written in brackets separated by a comma. The first number of the ordered pair is the x-coordinate. It represents how far the point is along the x-axis. In this example, the x-coordinate is 3. So we start at the origin and we count three lines along the x-axis, which as we know is the horizontal axis. One, One two, two, three. three. The second number of the ordered pair is the y-coordinate. It represents how far the point is along the y-axis, or vertical axis. Here, our y-coordinate is 4, so we are going to count up from where we left off on the x-axis. 1, One two, 2, 3, 4. Let's draw the point here and label it as point A, and write its coordinates beside it. You can see that this point corresponds to the values of the x, and y coordinates. Now that we've plotted our first point, let's review the steps we took. Number one, identify your x and your y coordinates. Number two, start with your x coordinate and count horizontally along the x axis. Number three, using your y coordinate, count up from the x axis. Number four, mark and label your point. Number five, double check your point with your ordered pair. Don't forget, the order of the coordinates in an ordered pair is very important. The first coordinate is always the x-coordinate, and the second one always refers to the y-coordinate. You can think of the letters at the end of the alphabet, w, x, y, z. x always comes before y never the other way around. Another simple way to remember the correct order is to imagine you're entering a house. First you go through the door, and then you go up the stairs. So when you're plotting a point, first you go horizontally through the door to find your x-coordinate along the x-axis. And then you go vertically up the stairs to find your y-coordinate. Just try to remember, through, through the, the door, door and up, up the, the stairs. stairs. Let's plot another point on our coordinate plane. We're going to use the ordered pair 0, 9 and call this point B. So, what do we do first? Hmm, I got it! We identify the x and y coordinates. That's right, we need to identify our coordinates. For the point B, the x coordinate is 0 and the y coordinate is 9. As always, we start with the x-coordinate. Since it's zero, this means that we don't move along the x-axis. 
Now we need to locate the y coordinate. Since it's 9, we need to count up the y axis to 9. 1, 1 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 7, 7, 8, 9. 9. And we'll plot our point here. And don't forget to label it. Right. Let's double check to make sure it's in the right place. Our x coordinate is 0, and yes, we're at 0 along the x axis. Our y coordinate is 9, and yes, we're at 9 along the y axis. Nailed it! Looking at the position of our point, we can see that when the x coordinate is 0, the point will be somewhere along the y axis. If the y coordinate is 0, the point will be somewhere along the x axis. Cool! Can you guess what the ordered pair is for the origin? Hmm. If you guess 0, 0, then you're right. Now let's see how our pirate friends are faring in their hunt for treasure. Arr, ahoy matey. I think I found a clue. <gasps> what is it? It's an ordered pair. I bet it shows us the location of the treasure on our map. Shiver me timbers. Let's plot it so we can find our treasure. Arr! Arr! Arr!